right me babbers before we get started make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and dingle my bell to make sure you don't miss any more physical media goodness on with the show all right me babbers Bristolian dave here again a little bit of a different video for you this time so on this video I'm going to show you what I do with my DVDs. Now, uh, my collection's nearing, what, 6,000 titles? And it's quite a, quite a space taker, if I'm honest. Um, so, as you can see, this is, this is the, the size, general size of a DVD. And with that, if you imagine like 100 in a row, they take up a lot of space. And you can see next to the box how many DVDs you probably fit that way. Now, if you look side on, you can just see, see how many I've actually got in this box. So these are all DVDs that I've put in these nifty little sleeves. Quite a lot. You know, you can fit, I think it's roughly about 100 in this space. Uh, yeah, that's what, about, that's 10 there, so... 10, yeah, so it's about, about 100, which is an amazing space saver. And as you can see, I've got The Cavern on DVD. It's not bad, actually. Not a bad little movie. Um, yeah, it's quite, quite cool because you, you get the whole artwork there. You get the spine, so you can see both in the front. And if I turn it over, you can see the disc is in there. And you can still see the back artwork as well. Um, you can obviously slot the disc behind uh, the DVD artwork if you want to see the full thing. But I just prefer it like this. It's easier to take the disc out in my opinion. And so if we go for a few, like you can see like Finn Lizzy. Uh, it's a bit of a thicker one because it's got like a little booklet in there as well. Tormented, VHS Viral, and as you can see, it's, it's still, it still works quite well because you can still see all the artworks and you don't have to worry about losing that part of it. Because that, that's one reason I've never moved my media into sleeves, is because I want to keep the artwork uh, and I want to keep the discs. So... I found these specifically made, works out, I think, about £18. £18 for 100 which ain't too bad. Now I'm just going to take all these out because what I haven't done here, this is all movies I've watched, but I haven't alphabetized them yet. So, I'm going to take them all out and go for them. And we're going to see. But as you can see, you can take out chunks. And it's very easy to look through. You can flick through it. No problem. So, while you're watching this, guys, if, you, if you've got any thoughts on these sleeves, um, or putting discs in the sleeves in general, leave a comment down below. Because uh, I want to know your views on it. And these are the boxes that I put them in. So these were, well, they were from Ikea. Uh, they're flat pack ones. As you can see, normally has a lid. But with the DVDs on there, uh, it doesn't quite fit. As you can see here, we've got about an inch, roughly, too high. So what I do is I put the lids on the bottom. Uh, and you can see here, so it's just a piece of cardboard on the bottom piece of cardboard on the bottom and this lovely box which fits them perfect and like I said a hundred in a box very cheap from Ikea like three pounds I think it's been a while since I bought one so yeah it's so this is the process now of alphabetizing. Don't worry, I won't take you through the whole thing. 
I'll just show you as I go. It's rather simple. If you've got B, look, Black Cauldron, goes before Buzz Lightyear, jump in. And try not to judge my movie taste too much as I'm going through this. Now, what, one thing people do worry about with this kind of thing is scratching on the discs uh, from being in the sleeves and moving about too much. When they're all in there, they don't they don't shift around. Um, they're packed quite nicely, but not too tight. That it damages the disc, uh, and then the only way the disc is going to move around is if you're shaking it about a lot, which you got no reason to do. So I'll get this alphabetized. I'm going to skip for it now. Be back with the second part. So. So all alphabetized. I've said alphabetized a few times. As you can see, I've gone from back to front. So you've got Wither, you've got Wakewood. Uh, what else we got? VHS Viral. Second time that's come up. And it works out so much better. For me anyway. Now, like I said, I've done it all with the DVDs. Um, but I'm trying to decide if I should do it with the Blu-rays. Now, I was toying between getting rid of a load to make space or doing this. Um, part of me thinks I got a lot of shit in my collection I could probably shift. Uh, but the other part of me is like, well, maybe I'll watch those films again at some point and change my mind and like them. I don't know. Maybe it's the hoarder in me. It could be. Uh, they do do specialist ones for this as well. So for DVD sized um, and yes, this is a voiceover and I'm just moving my hands randomly to make it look like I'm talking while I'm actually recording it. So <laughs> I don't just do that generally. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think, guys, because uh, are you, do you use sleeves yourself? Have you ever contemplated it? Have you ever just point blank refused to put them in sleeves and what would you think if I put almost my whole blu-ray collection into sleeves it would save me a lot of space it would mean I could keep all my movies um, but then I wouldn't have this lovely wall of blu-rays to look at so I'd have to I'd have to compromise there um, it's tough it's tough uh, I don't know whether or not you guys would have an opinion, but do me a favor, guys. If you do, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on it. Let, let me know what you think of the DVDs like this, but also let me know if you think I should do it with my Blu-rays. Or is there an, or the, or is there an alternative I haven't thought of yet that maybe you guys know that I don't? So this is all about space saving, but while keeping the integrity of my collection. So thank you very much for watching and listening, guys. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already for more physical media and Bristolian goodness. And share out my channel to all your physical media loving friends. Really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time. Cheers, me babbers.